I bought a 3D printer and I absolutely love it. If you're on the fence about getting one, this video is for you. Hey, what's going on? This is the Bamboo Lab P2S with the AMS2 Pro. I bought it as a combo and the whole thing cost me around $800. Now this video isn't going to be a breakdown of the P2S. There are plenty of those already on YouTube. But what I wanna share is my experience as someone who had no experience with 3D printing to printing stuff within the first few minutes of getting it all set up. Speaking of setup, it was a breeze. I decided to go with the Bamboo Lab P2S because after doing a little research, it seemed like the best enclosed starter printer. By purchasing it as a combo, it came with the AMS Pro AMS stands for Automatic Material System and it has airtight storage and filament dryer built right in. Depending on the filament, making sure it's conditioned right is important. I just learned that. But as you can see, setting up the P2S is super easy. You might think I'm crazy for setting my new 3D printer up on the floor. Don't worry, I have a printer stand on order, but I just couldn't wait to see how this thing worked. You get it, right? Let's see if I set up everything correctly. Alright, I see some lights. Lit up, that's sweet. And, oh, how about that? Let's go through the setup panel here. Just put in my Wi Fi password and it connected super quick. Got a code about cloud access. Didn't get it that time. So I've already downloaded the Bamboo Handy app. So now I'm just going to find my printer by scanning this QR code. Confirm and bind. For Verify before proceeding. Use the H2O Allen key to remove all the screws marked in red to unlock the heat bed. I have done that. Calibrate for lower noise and better print quality. So this looks like it takes about a half hour to calibrate, 26 minutes. Although I calibrated it while it was sitting on the floor, I decided to recalibrate it after my printer stand arrived. I ordered some filament with the printer. Bamboo Lab was having a Black Friday sale, but I can see how over time the cost of filament can add up. I decided to go with PLA, which is a pretty basic starter filament. It also took me a second to figure out how to load it in, but I quickly realized the process is pretty automatic. But with Bamboo Lab filament, it has an RFID chip, so the AMS can actually detect which filament is in each individual individual slot. With off-brand filaments, you have to set this up on your own, but it's actually pretty easy. Because I was impatient and wanted to set up the printer, my table that I'm going to put it on showed up after the fact. So now let's get this set up and get the printer on top of it. I ordered the stand off of Amazon and I'll link it in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do purchase through that link, I do get a little kickback at no extra cost to you. And there we go, all set up. Now I have a place to store 3D printing stuff. Looks like I need a lot more filament. So my guess is that now that I have it on a new surface, I should probably calibrate it again. So while we wait for the printer to calibrate, I am in Bamboo Studio, which is Bamboo Labs software to help you prepare prints and send them over to the printer. But you can also search prints as well. And the thing that I really like about 3D printing is being able to go meta, I guess, and build the things that you need for your printer from the printer. That's awesome. And so the first thing that I'm going to print is actually called a poop catcher or poop bin or poop chute. It's basically little bits of filament that are discarded during the printing process and you can print out a catcher to catch those. So it's as easy as going into the online models. I actually have already searched it but I'll search it again. And I like this one because it also has a little spot for when you clip off the ends of the filament 
and I will do the one for the P2S. You click download and open. And now we have our file. I believe all you have to do is click slice plate and print plate. I don't know why I was a little nervous to print my first thing. I just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. I know this has become a theme of the video, but Bamboo Lab makes it so easy. However, there is one thing to learn when it comes to 3D printing, patience. This little bin took nearly three hours to print, but there's just something about clicking a button and bringing something into existence out of what seems like thin air. I hope that amazement never fades. These are little poops I was telling you about. Now I can keep things nice and sanitary. I'm filming this video right around Christmas time and I've never had a good solution for hanging Christmas lights in our big front window. So I went online and found these cable holders that I thought would do the trick. I just duplicated them, laid them out on the plate, and again went ahead and clicked print. Five hours later, they're done like a fresh plate of cookies. The idea with these is you put a command strip on the back and attach it to your surface and you can hang your lights. I'm going to do mine in the window. I actually didn't like how these turned out and they weren't the solution that I was looking for. But spoiler alert, I go online and find a better solution. Next up was a custom project. I had this in mind when I bought the 3D printer. I went on Fiverr and found a designer to help me with it. It's an old statue from a restaurant that was torn down in my town in the early 2000s, but a lot of people hold fond memories of it. The designer absolutely nailed it. I plan on selling a few of these on my website, thisisogden.com, but I have to make sure they print just right. This is a little test print. All right, so this time I wanted to do a fun, different kind of project. I guess I should have printed a scraper first. This one's a little hard to get off. But one thing I want to show you is that it prints with these supports if there's any sort of overhang. And so that helps keep your design intact as it prints. And this one had some, but I got to get it off the print tray. This is from a restaurant that used to exist in my town. It's a little statue. It actually is going to have a sign that is above it. I'll probably print these bigger. But yeah, these supports just help anything that overhangs so it allows the print to stay stable there. Awesome. It's gonna be multicolor. I just did it in a single color for now. But yeah, printing fun stuff. What else should I print? The P2S has some preloaded items to print. I probably should have started there, but you can go right into the menu on the printer and select some tools to print. I did end up printing a scraper after realizing how some prints might be difficult to get off the print plate. I chose a scraper with two colors on it just to see how that would turn out. So the scraper turned out great. It even comes with a little holder. I just love the idea of Bamboo Labs saying, hey, we're not gonna give you everything. Why don't you try printing a tool? but they did include pieces of the scraper that you can't quite print. So I'm gonna assemble this scraper and move on to the next job. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't love the cable holders that I printed out for my Christmas lights, so I went online, found a new file, and printed those out instead. What was unique about this is I did it through the Bamboo Handy app on my phone while I wasn't even home, and these were waiting for me when I got there. These low profile hooks look way better and they stick a lot better to my window as well. Another cool feature with the P2S is the time-lapse camera. If you place a USB stick into it, you get these fun time lapses to show all the stages of your print. As you've already seen in this video, I love a good time lapse. I went on to print a print plate holder, an extra spool for filament, I decided to go two-tone on it, and some woodworking tools for my father-in-law. I even printed a full-size helmet from PUBG Mobile that I'm going to give my friend for Christmas. We'll see if he actually watches my videos. Merry Christmas, Chris. The print time on this one was 18 hours. 
some assembly required. As you can see, I'm having a ton of fun with my 3D printer. There are a lot of options out there. I just decided to go with Bamboo Lab because of their notoriety and ease of use and quick setup. And I also know that there are a lot of videos about 3D printing. I just wanted to share my experience. So if you're anything like me, a novice, and you're wondering about getting into it, I'd recommend that you do. Now is a good time and it's never been easier. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you like it. If you do, hit that like button. If you are an experienced 3D printer, let me know in the comments down below what I should print next or what your favorite things to print are. And of course, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Have a great rest of your day.